A seish is a phenomenon where standing waves are set up in an enclosed or partially enclosed body of water, uh, such as a lake or a bay like this one here. In this case, Lake Erie. Uh, seiches are quite common uh, due to the shallow depths of the lake itself. And right now, being Thanksgiving weekend, we have a seish. And this is probably the lowest I've seen it since I made that video about three or four years ago. So let me just spin the camera around and you'll see it. So those rocks behind me are usually underwater by now, nearly most of the time, to be quite honest. And in fact, where I'm walking right now is usually where the water level is, as you can tell by the, uh, the algae or the weed or whatever you want to call it. So how does a sage happen? Well, when you get strong winds that blow across Lake Erie, uh, especially from the, the southwest or from the northeast, it will push all the water from one end of the lake right down to the other. And this is the case today. Uh, we've got a strong case of easterly winds, northeasterly winds. Today, they're blowing quite strong and they'll get a lot stronger tonight. And it's pushing all the water from this end, which is Buffalo, Fort Erie, and this area is now gonna all the way be pushed down to Cleveland, into Ohio, Detroit, and places like that. So where we lose about five or six feet of water, they're gonna gain about five or six feet of water. So right now I'm basically standing where I shouldn't be standing. Uh, the water levels have receded so far, I managed to walk out, uh, what, about 80 meters to 100 meters away from the shoreline out into the lake. Like I said, this is usually covered by water. I mean, it's pretty shallow here normally. Um, right about here, it should be waist deep where I'm standing, uh, but I'm completely on raised rock. Uh, the rock is about a foot out of the water. Uh, yeah, it's, it's probably the biggest sage I've seen here for a few years uh, with the winds blowing from the east down to the west. So it's quite uh, fascinating. Now, for those people who are not familiar with the area, what does it look like when the sage is coming the other way? Well, it just so happens I do have some video from last year of a sage. It's not at its full maximum amount, but there is a big storm push onto this particular beach. And this was taken back in January. So this is exactly what it looks like. When you get a strong westerly wind, southwesterly wind, it now pushes the water all the way back up towards Buffalo, Ford Erie, and this area, Ford Erie, which is Crystal Beach. And the water level rises significantly. This is the whole beach now being completely overtaken by water. Uh, where I'm standing on those rocks is way out there. It's probably about, I don't know, I'll put a marker probably where I think I was. But you can see how fast the water comes up and how much this beach it swallows, which I think on this particular case was probably a six foot uh, difference. Um, I think this is a storm where Buffalo may have got 10 foot, which is uh, a record. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but that sounds familiar. Did you see that? Holy shit. I was just standing there. And on a calm summer's day, it kind of looks like this. This is a video I made regarding a rescue that took place, and I'm just highlighting the depths of the water in certain areas. So where I'm standing was about four or five feet deep. Um, yeah, and you can see. So these are pretty normal water levels when I'm, when I'm actually filming this. And this was just over a year ago. This phenomena also poses a navigational uh, problem. Uh, ships also get caught up in this. Uh, also pleasure craft and things like that because the fluctuating water levels mean the levels will go up and down very quickly, leaving a lot of areas exposed for ships to run aground. So uh, mariners really have to keep an eye on their charts and their water depths at all time. But in certain areas, especially if you're going to Buffalo right now, the water level is going to be dangerously low in some places. And I'm sure some of the vessels that go in there, the bigger ones, may have a problem or have to wait it out until the water levels uh, rise back up again. Yeah, definitely close to 100 meters I went out there, 80 to 100. Shame that wind's so strong, so I like to get the drone up quite high. Uh, but I'm gonna try and get it up again, but I don't think it'll go that high because there is a very strong brisk wind right now.
Now, normally when we get our storms here at Crystal Beach area, um, especially in October, November into December, we get very strong southwesterly winds. So we don't usually have water levels like this. It's usually the opposite way around. Uh, the winds are predominantly from the southwest in this area. Uh, so usually we get the higher water up this way. So it's kind of, it's one of those rare things to see it the opposite way around. We kind of call it a reverse sage uh, because it's the opposite way around. And we so used to it being the other way. So probably the next time we have a really good, strong southwesterly wind, all this water will end up being pushed up here. Parts of Buffalo did flood last year when they had the sage coming from the southwest up into Buffalo. Uh, here wasn't too bad. I mean, there was a little flooding around here, uh, but the winds were just blowing perfect for Buffalo. Uh, but we've had big sages here. Uh, we had one about three or four years ago in the, in the fall as well, where the water levels came right up and the parking lot just over here uh, got completely swamped and we had to evacuate. I think I put that in a previous video as well. If not, I'll just stick it in here right now so to give you a quick look at exactly what the sage normally looks like when it's the water levels are much higher. This is uh, getting pretty critical right now. Uh, just by looking at the water level line, uh, just by the boat ramp there, you can quite easily see the water level is probably about three to four feet lower than what it normally is. Um, it wasn't this low. I came down here at lunchtime, which is about six hours ago, and it was low, but nowhere near this low. So it's really dropped in the last few hours. And looking at the forecast for tonight, I'll put, this, put it up right about here, uh, we've got more strong easterly winds. This water level will drop a lot more uh, before daylight tomorrow, then it'll start to come back up as the winds start changing to a northerly direction and probably end up going back to a westerly later on. Uh, but for, few, uh, for the next few hours, the water level will keep dropping and then it'll come back up later on. Well, there you have you folks, Sage. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I'll be back with another video sometime in the near future. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you like and subscribe. I, I primarily do uh, stuff on Lake Erie, whether it's watching ships, doing sea do adventures, or even better still, doing weather stuff like this. And I tend to do a lot more weather stuff in the winter and in the spring than I do in the summer, because summer's kind of still, really. So anyway, until the next video, stay safe, see you soon.